Hey, it's Thy Kusk. It is your dad boy, 420 Blaze It. We're gonna be talking about Citizens As You Please. So basically, I feel like I have to give you a rundown on Citizen, the band first, okay? Their first album, Youth, it was a meme. I saw it everywhere. I couldn't escape the cover from Instagram or Tumblr. I just saw Citizen memes everywhere. I thought they were a heavy metal band, so I never listened to it until I, you know, saw them live. And, you know, that's when I first heard Citizen. I did like their set. They're very energetic. Um, then I listened to Youth, and I was like, hey, this is a very fucking depressing album. And I think of that album as a depressing meme. I think it was released in 2011, t around 2011 to 2013. I'm not sure what year it was released, to be honest. But it was released around then. Um, I do enjoy the album, but I can't listen to it when I'm not sad. <laughs> you know, their 2015 release was Everybody Goes to Heaven. I heard this a year late because, you know, I that show I went to was in, De yeah, it was December 2016. Um, what do I think of this album? It's my favorite Citizen album. Probably will be for a while. Um, you know, it is angry angsty, you know. Youth was depressed angsty. Everybody Goes to Heaven was angry angsty. And, you know, it just, it's just an album that gets you off your feet. Like, I'm not lying. There are some slower parts to it, obviously. There are going to be slower songs. It is a Citizen album. There, there has to be Sad Boy in it. Um, but basically, with that sad boy, there was a lot of angriness to the sad boy in Everybody Goes to Heaven. Uh, you know, when you heard Cement, you knew it was time to get down. What can I say? And now, as you please, um, their 2017 release. I feel this is the anxious, angsty album. I thought this was a happy album for a little bit, but then I, um, listened to Medicine and realized this is not the happy album. <laughs> I don't think Citizen will ever make a happy album because it's fucking Citizen. <laughs> but, you know, uh, when I heard Jet, I was like, hey, this is a pretty, a pretty happy song. But then, you know, as you get down to Medicine, you're like, oh no, this is not... This is not a happy album. And I call this the very anxious album compared to the rest of them, you know. I call this an anxious angsty because of You're a Star, alright? I feel like that song is about Citizen um, getting pressure on them to make a better album. Because, again, Citizen is a Panic of the Disco band, alright? They blew up with their first release. Or Paris, all right? Paris um, was after Citizen, though. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're in the same group as Panic the Disco in Paris, okay? Their first album blew up. But, you know, they're in the same boat as Paris after, you know, their second album. You know, they're both of Paris and um, Citizen's second album was also a good supplement to their first. Panic the Disco did not release a good supplement to Fever. Um, and obviously Citizen has a third album. Their third album pretty much blends in with the rest of them. And I think that just Citizen did not want to go the Panic the Disco route for their third album, okay? They didn't, they didn't want Pretty Odd to be their third album. So with You're a Star, they felt pressure into either, you know, pleasing the record company or pleasing their fans or just both in general and being like, ah, oh, shit, what are we gonna do? You know, they did release a solid release, okay? I do enjoy As You Please. It is just not my favorite Citizen album. Uh, I, do, I would rather listen to Everybody Goes to Heaven because that album I just click with, okay? I don't know why. I just really enjoy Everybody Goes to Heaven, but... Um, you know, it is good that they did not replicate Everybody Goes to Heaven because then I'd be like, you know, th this album, it just, it's a carbon copy. And do we really want carbon copies? No, we want artists to kind of, um branch out a little bit. You know, with um, All We Know of Heaven, All We Need of Hell, with that album they did experiment more with the reverb. Um, and obviously with As You Please, they went a more anxious route, okay? It's still Citizen, and with um, Paris's second album, Akanoa, they're still Paris. And you can definitely see that. <clears throat> um, but, you know, As You Please is very, I guess, mirror-like. Foggy. That's how I'd explain it. <laughs> but yeah, as You Are a Star definitely encapsulates um, just the anxious vibe of it. And really just says, hey, this is gonna be the anxious album. It's the second to last song on the album, but it really solidifies the feel from Medicine to Flower Child. 
definitely. It's a good conclusion. Even though Flower Child's really the conclusion, you know, Flower Child's a very good, um, t like, you know, thing, well, song to tie up the entire album. I feel You're a Star ties up the vibe, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, my favorite songs off here are Control, I Forgive No One, and Fever Days. Also, Ugly Luck is one of my faves, too. Um, and yeah, th those, that's just basically all I have to say about it. I give it a 7.5 out of 10 st weird star things on the cover. Other than that, do I recommend Citizens As You Please? Yes, if you're depressed. <laughs> So I have to say, the only album you can listen to by Citizen when you're not sad, when you're not a little sad boy, is Everybody Goes to Heaven. And that's probably not going to change for a while. Um, youth, don't even touch that if you're not a sad boy, okay? Um, as you please, you may, like, touch it, like, you know, like, you know, listen to it, but you might not enjoy it as much if you're not a little sad boy at the time. But yeah, um... As you please, 7.5 out of 10 weird star things. Um, that's all I have to say about it. Hope you enjoyed this small little uh, sleep on it. Okay, so I want to give you a quick thank you to Duffy, FireRim, and MUMS Universe for subscribing. Also, I'm going to prolong my hiatus still. I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of um, collaboration shit to go through, so <laughs> I want to get through that. I want to contact everyone who wanted to collab with me and, you know, collab and whatnot, and yeah. Once I get all my collab videos done, I will be full-on making videos again <laughs> and not having random breaks. Um, also, I'm going to be interviewing people at Berry Fest, so you're going to see a lot of Berry Fest coverage in the next week. And also, you may see what is up with Aries in the next week, and that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Hug a tree. <laughs>